Are you looking for a fun and relaxing way to spend the day? Then look no further than Riverbank Zoo and Garden in Columbia, South Carolina. Riverbank Zoo and Garden is Colombia's premier attraction and is one of the most successful mid-sized zoos in the country. It is also among the largest zoos in the US based on attendance and hosts well over a million guests each year according to riverbanks.org. So why is this zoo such a popular attraction? Well, I'll tell you in this video as we take a deep dive into the zoo's development and its current attractions, exhibits, and programs. So let's dive into it right now. Land and Location Riverbank Zoo is conveniently located just northwest of downtown Colombia and spans 170 acres on both sides of the Saluda River. A bridge connects the north side of the zoo, which houses mammals, fish, reptiles, and birds, to the south side, which consists of the beautiful botanical garden and waterfall junction. Visitors can park and enter the zoo at either the main zoo entrance on the north side or at the botanical garden entrance on the south side. A zoo tram transports visitors from the main zoo side to the botanical garden and waterfall junction, or visitors may choose to take a scenic walk from one side to the other. The main zoo park. The zoo's main park on the north side of the river opened in 1974 after five years of planning and construction. Some features of the original zoo design were the mountainous moated exhibits for cats and bears, which remain a part of the zoo's landscape today. Other major exhibits included two buildings housing small mammals and a modern enclosure for giraffes and white rhinos. Perhaps the most stunning feature of the original zoo was the 22,000 square foot ecosystem birdhouse that housed hundreds of birds in indoor and outdoor exhibits. In 1988, the zoo opened Riverbanks Farm, which is an interactive display of domestic animals such as goats, rabbits, and alpacas in a contemporary farm setting where visitors can pet and feed the animals. Since 2015, the zoo has added two animal habitats which are Grizzly Ridge and Otter Run, as well as an expanded entry plaza, ticketing facility, and a gift shop. In 2016, the zoo opened the Sea Lion Landing, which is a replica of San Francisco's Pier 39, where you can get a close look at California sea lions and harbor seals. Today, Riverbank Zoo houses over 3,000 animals that represent over 400 species around the world. This includes many species of birds, mammals, reptiles, fish, and invertebrates. The new aquarium and reptile conservation. As of March of this year, the ribbon has been cut and doors are officially open for guests to come and experience the zoo's new aquarium and reptile conservation center. Boyd Aquarium and Reptile Conservation Center has been four years in the making. The zoo says more than 12,000 animals are housed in the new space, representing more than 300 different species, including reptiles and amphibians, fish and invertebrates, according to WBTV.com. Now let's talk about the attractions. Besides all the fabulous animals and their habitats, the zoo also has some fun attractions like rock climbing, a high ropes obstacle course, feeding the giraffes at Giraffe Overlook, feeding the lorry kids, and mingling with marsupials in the kangaroo walkabout. It also has train rides on the Spots and Stripes Railroad train, a playground, and a carousel. Some attractions like the High Ropes Obstacle Course and Carousel cost an additional fee, but some attractions are included with zoo admission. Construction of the Riverbanks Botanical Garden began in 1994 and the garden opened in 1995. The Botanical Garden is connected to the zoo by a bridge over the lower Saluda River. The garden includes a 10,000 square feet visitor center and several gardens, including a formal walled garden, an antique rose garden, a bog garden, collection garden, shade garden. This area also has a historical interpretive center and a half mile long nature trail along the native forest and riverbank. Guests can enjoy scavenger hunts in the garden and educational programs in the visitor center, but the beautiful gardens are worth visiting just to soak in 70 beautiful acres showcasing over 5,700 species of native and exotic plants. 
Riverbanks Botanical Garden has been named by Horticulture Magazine as one of 10 gardens that inspire, and by HGTV as one of 20 great public gardens across America. But the gardens aren't the only highlight of this part of Riverbanks Zoo. In 2016, Riverbanks opened Waterfall Junction. Let's talk about that Waterfall Junction. Waterfall Junction has been a popular attraction at Riverbanks since its opening. This three-acre garden and playland for children is located within the zoo's botanical garden. Besides a 25-foot cascading waterfall and splash pad, Waterfall Junction encourages play and imagination with tunnels, a dino dig area, giant tree houses, kid-sized playhouses, and a playground. In addition, this park's learning center and amphitheater host special children's programs. Waterfall Junction is open year-round during park hours and is included with regular zoo admission or membership. The programs. Riverbanks has many great programs going on throughout the year for all age groups. Family and kids programs include a nature preschool for three to five year olds, hour-long programs for little ones ages two to five, and various family programs and events. Middle schoolers can participate in Riverbank Zoo Crew, where they learn hands-on about environmental stewardship and the science behind animal care. Teenagers can join Riverbank Zoo Teens, which provides training to develop team building, public speaking, environmental stewardship, and job readiness skills. During the summer, kids ages 3 through rising 6th grade can participate in zoo camp. At this day camp, campers explore little-known areas of riverbanks, meet animals face-to-face, -face, do hands-on activities, and participate in experiences that inspire them to connect with nature and wildlife. The zoo also offers school and group programs, homeschool classes and workshops, and programs for adults. You can check out riverbanks.org for more details about any of their programs. The zoo also has fun seasonal events for the whole family, like Boo at the Zoo in October, where kids can wear costumes and find candy throughout the zoo, and the lights at Riverbanks display in December, where you can see over 1 million holiday lights along with the animals and enjoy other fun activities like Santa's Village. Since this is such a prominent zoo, let's talk about the awards. Since opening in 1974, Riverbanks has won numerous awards for exhibit design, breeding programs, and marketing strategy. It has also twice won the Travel Attraction of the Year Award by the Southeast Tourism Society. Riverbanks has also twice been awarded the Annual Governor's Cup by the South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism as the state of South Carolina's most outstanding attraction. I've been to this zoo and I'm not surprised that it is considered South Carolina's most outstanding attraction. It's just one of many wonderful attractions in Columbia, South Carolina, and it's definitely worth taking a drive to go and visit. If you are wanting to move to South Carolina and wish to know what are the most sought after cities or towns, make sure to watch this video where I mention four of them. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next week.